Hey YouTube, it's Next I Cast Review will be on James Hinchcliffe's 2021 Capstone Green Energy Car, the 118 scale for Andretti Autosport. This car I picked up right before I went to Mid-Ohio. I picked this up at um, my buddies over at GP Diecast. They provided me with a great diecast. I will provide a link in the description below where to order it. I already over and over to 164, so I'm not going to go too much into detail about this car in the 118 scale. Other, otherwise, I was going to a regular review of this car, just very brief here. But I really do like the, this car. I mean, I know that the renderings and the sample images of this car made this car look more metallic. But the car in person is not metallic. I, I know. I took pictures of it in Mid-Ohio. It is a glossy color green. They absolutely nailed it here with this car. This car is glossy green. It is not metallic, to, to the illusion that I got from the sample images. And I really think that green light did a fantastic job with this car. And I'm really pleased with it. There's no really big quality issues with the car whatsoever. I'm really pleased with that. I, there's nothing worse than spending $65 out of 118 that has a flaw or something wrong with it. But you know, this diecast looks pretty flawless to me. I will put this out of the way for the time being, and I will proceed to go over the box here. I won't go over too much of the detail about this box here, other than the fact that it has the Andretti Steinbrenner Racing logo in the background there. And uh, this is really just a plain old generic box. It's not really much different between the other cars. And uh, they get pause at any time to review the quote here by James Hinchcliffe. And there's the side of the box there, and of course, all the copyright crap at the bottom put that away for now and here we go here is the die cast itself very beautiful die cast in hand here i mean really green light seems to have outdone themselves here with this die cast they really have seemed to get the ball rolling here with these 118s and i'm really appreciating the fact that they're doing a great job with these cars and uh, here we go we got capstone green energy got the andretti chrome nose so let's see here can we get a better angle here let's see can we do can we do this? Here we go. Got the got Capstone Green Energy, Delara, Automation. Now, let's see here. Let's do this. Put it right over here. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to get the best setup here possible. Sorry about this. We're doing only one take here. We don't do, we don't do outtakes here in these videos. Let's do the original way here. Got Delara. Automation, Napa Auto Parts, DHL, Gamebridge, Capstone, Honda, Entity Indy Car Series, 29, Capstone Green Energy. You got Firestone, you got the Siemens logo, you got the Capstone shift to green on the aero screen here. And you go right over here as well, you got that Capstone and shift to green, you got Honda, you got Entity Indy Car Series, you got Capstone Green Energy. Flip over to here. You got Bowen Motorsports, you got the Firestone Tires, you got the Andretti Steinbrenner Racing logo. You got Genesis with a little logo there. You got Capstone Green Energy. Check it for Andretti. You got Bassif and Sharon Williams. Capstone Green Energy. You got James Hinchcliffe's name. You got Speedway, Power by Honda, Genesis, and HPD. You got number 29 on the roll hoop with the uh, orange TV pod. You got Dickens Dickinson Fleet Services, HPD, Stratasys, P1, NTT, Firestone. Got the Firestone rear tires. Got number 29. You got Capstone on the rear wing. Capstone and Genesis on the real ramps. Back of the car. Got all the good stuff here. You got all the uh, electronics. You got the onboard starter. You got the uh, hydraulic jack. You got the rear caution light. You got all the suspension pieces, everything. This looks absolutely fabulous. And here we go. This side is the same as the left. And like I said, you know, like, uh, I'm glad they got the right color on this car. I'm glad they got the right finish on this car, too. Because, let me tell you, I was hoping that they wouldn't make this metallic finish car. Because, certainly on the track, it is not metallic finish, I'll tell you that. And on the track, it looks really glossy and it looks really nice. And it seems like they hit the nail on the head with this car. Maybe it could be a little bit lighter shade of green. Then again, when I take my photos, the car is in bright light. And this car is in bright light here too on the camera. And it looks a little darker in die cast form than it is on the actual racetrack. I think they got like a couple shades wrong with the green on this car. But I could be wrong. It could it could have been this color green on the showroom floor. And it just happened to look brighter when it's in the sunlight. But I could be wrong though. But 
Now, so my only critique about the car, I think it could be a little bit, just a tiny bit lighter shade of green. That could be the main fixture there. But overall, I think they hit the nail on the head on this car. And I'm really glad that they made this car in the 118 and 164 scale. We're going to view the 164 scale. We're going to go, we, I'll probably link that in the description below probably. But this is the 118 scale and I would severely recommend it because, you know, I mean, I, the Genesis car, my God, the Genesis car is freaking fabulous too. I mean, oh my God. But I also like about this car too, guys, is that the orange here is Dayglow. That is Dayglow orange. Let's get, let's get a little, let's get a little bit more of a focus in on that. I don't know if the camera's picking up properly, but that is Dayglow Orange right there on the front here. Got Dayglow Orange on the got the mirrors here. Got Dayglow Orange here on the side pods and the wheel ramps. You name it, it is all Dayglow Orange. And also the TV pod too is Dayglow Orange. Great job uh, getting that color right on there as well. That is for sure Dayglow in real person too, I mean, I'll tell you that. And uh, I'm really impressed with this car, guys. You know, if I had to give this car a rating, I would definitely give it an absolute 10 out of 10. Home run on this car. Great job by Greenlight and uh, and Dreddy Autosport for making such a great livery this year. And, of course, it's the same livery as all the other cars. You've got Ryan Hunter Ray, Colton Herta, and, uh, Alexander Rossi, and James Hinchcliffe now. They all have the same livery, and they all look pretty, pretty awesome. And, um... You know, I really don't have any much critique about this car. There's no quality issues on it whatsoever. There's really no known defects to it whatsoever. It just looks overall fabulous. Fabulous piece of die cast here, ladies and gentlemen. So let's do a 360 view here. Here's the right side of the car. There's the back. And let's see, this is production number 79. How about that? Here we go. Comment, like, and subscribe, ladies and gentlemen. Please comment, like, and subscribe. This is Race Day 12, reminding you to join, fight, and stop bullying. It does get better. The diecast kid is always happy to see you.